Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. Now, here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with a review of the Suzuki Grand Vitara, including a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the Volkswagen Passat and Toyota Camry as they go head-to-head. -head. We'll also have the latest developments in the local auto industry and a special feature on the recently held Isuzu 20th anniversary. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Auto Focus and we'll be right back after this short break. for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win Autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. TV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Managing Director of Ford Philippines, Mr. Bert Lassard. I would like to invite you to check out our pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive festival, a one-stop shop to all car enthusiasts to see and test drive the latest vehicle on November 16 to November 19 at the SM Mall of Asia. Experience our Ford Everest. Ford Ranger and Ford EcoSport at this event with their best capacity and feature. Please, I would like to see you there. Come to the Autofocus Multi-Brand Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. So there I was, standing on top of the world. But then I asked myself, what lies beyond success? I wanted to give back, be a force of change. I dream of a place where children can realize their potential, to live and love life, be kings and queens, and fight for their dreams. Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the President of Isuzu Philippines Corporation, Mr. Hajime Koso. Christmas is fast approaching and many of you are probably thinking of buying a car for your family or yourself. If you are, it's best to test drive it before you buy it. This year's autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival at the Mall of Asia is on November 16 to 19. Isuzu Philippine Corporation will have the following model available for you to test drive. Our new Blue Power Euro 4 direct injected VGS turbo diesel engines for new Isuzu D-MAX Blue Power 4x4 and 4x2 automatic variants and new Isuzu MUX Blue Power 4x2 Automatic. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! Come to the 
Autofocus Multi-Brand Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16th to 19th. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Suzuki. When you think about buying a new car at less than 1.3 million pesos, the obvious choice would be a compact sedan or hatchback. But for those who want something different, there's actually a compact crossover that fits your budget. The Suzuki Grand Vitara Limited Edition is the vehicle for those seeking a more adventurous lifestyle that doesn't break the bank. It's this week's car review. The current Suzuki Grand Vitara has been in the market for some time, yet it never seems to age. With the exception of the rear door mounted spare tire, the boxy and angular styling remains timeless. Compared to the regular Grand Vitara, the limited edition adds a bit more visual flair. Exclusive to this model is a dark chrome front grille, silver roof rails, and at each corner, dark silver 8-inch alloy wheels. Inside, it lives up to the promise of offering all the space you'll ever need. The dashboard design itself is simple and straightforward, with the new champagne silver accents setting it apart from the regular Grand Vitara. There's an equal emphasis on the sport too. The instruments are nestled in three deep binnacles, while the three-spoke steering wheel is covered in leather, and the shifter having a gated pattern. Even the seats aren't covered in leather, but in a special sporty fabric material. The utility aspect of the Grand Vitara is showcased by its capability to load just about everything. The second row actually folds down and even tumbles up, allowing it to fit several large boxes. There are also numerous storage compartments scattered around. Another great news is that Suzuki has upgraded the Grand Vitara's infotainment system. Loading it with an Android-based touchscreen system with GPS, it plays a wide variety of entertainment formats, including video. This infotainment system also acts as the backup camera that helps in maneuvering in tight spaces. Using a 2.4-liter four-cylinder engine equipped with variable valve timing or VVT, the Grand Vitara serves up a commendable 168 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and 227 newton meters of torque at 3,800 rpm. It makes this two-wheel drive compact crossover feel sprightly, especially in urban traffic. The Grand Vitara remains a capable and comfortable crossover, whether it be tackling everyday Manila traffic or taking the twists and turns of Cannon Road on the way to Baguio. With compact crossovers starting to become more and more expensive, the 2017 Suzuki Grand Vitara is largely unaffected by inflation. Even in this top limited edition trim, it manages to be a great option to would-be buyers, especially if they don't want to settle on a regular sedan or hatchback. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Vote 
vote for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your automobile of the year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Vice President for Marketing Services of Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation, Mr. Froy Dichankin. Christmas is fast approaching and many of you are probably thinking of buying a new car for your family or for yourself. If you are, it's best to test drive it before you buy it. This year's Autofocus pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive at the Mall of Asia is on November 16 to 19. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines will have the following models available for you to test drive. We have the Montero Sport, Strada Pickup, the Mirage, and Mirage G4. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. The best of the holidays to all of you. multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Autofocus and we now have the latest auto industry news. Volvo Philippines recently gave a sneak preview of the new Volvo XC60 at the Volvo Crayfish Party organized in partnership with Nordic Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines. We were able to give a preview of the XC60 during the Crayfish Party of the Nordic Chamber of Commerce in the Philippines. Uh, it may seem weird that we have the XC60 unveiling during this event, but our brand Volvo was actually founded during a crayfish dinner with our two founders. So that's why we were able to choose this event to unveil our newest model. According to Volvo, the new XC60 is one of the safest cars ever made as it is fully loaded with new technology. A new safety system called Oncoming Lane Mitigation uses steer assist to help mitigate head-on collisions, while Volvo's blind spot indication system now uses steer assist functionality to reduce the risk of lane changing collisions. The XC60 is uh, built upon Volvo's latest SPA or the Scalable Platform Architecture. So it has the proportions of its bigger brother, the XC90. If you notice, the length and the width and the interior room is all very similar to the XC90, except it has uh, one less row. And the XC60 has a very sleek and dynamic design, and it shows you a preview of all of the new Volvos coming, starting with the 90 series with this XC60 and our future cars to come. The new Volvo XC60 will be launched later this year. We'd like to invite all of the viewers to come and visit our Volvo showrooms uh, both in Manila, in Cebu, and in Iloilo. And we'd like to invite you to test drive our vehicles and see for yourself how far Volvo has come and what difference our cars are now. Meanwhile, 
All the Cars Philippines Incorporated recently announced that the first batch of diesel variants of the all-new CRV has finally arrived on Philippine shores. While Honda has several years of experience manufacturing and selling diesel-powered cars in other markets, the company says that the all-new CRV marks the first time that Honda will offer a diesel vehicle in the country. According to Honda, with the all-new CRV's new diesel engine and the revival of its seven-seater capability, it has acquired a remarkable market demand since it was officially introduced in the Philippines in 1998. Moreover, the seven-seater diesel SUV is packed with an aggressive and dynamic styling, premium and comfortable interior, and uncompromising safety features, including Honda Sensing. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Vote for your favorite car models and stand a chance to win Autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Use your great power with great control. With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the marketing manager of Subaru Philippines, Mr. John Ezekiel Asuncion. Are you looking for something special to give this holiday season? Why not buy a brand new car? Come to the Autofocus pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive festival at the Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. Subaru will be offering multiple test drive units for your enjoyment at this festival. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. We'll have more news about the auto industry still up ahead, but in the meantime, Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. Our pair for this week's Head to Head is for those who work their way to the top. With spacious and roomy cabins, premium touches, and the latest technologies, the modern midsize sedan is one for the captains of industry. Here we have two prime examples from the east and from the west, the Toyota Camry and Volkswagen Passat.
This week's head to head beats two plush mid size sedans from Japan and Germany. From the east, we have the Toyota Camry, the segment's best seller. Over to the west, there's the Volkswagen Passat, bridging the gap between mainstream manufacturers and high end luxury brands. Let's take a look at these executive suites on wheels. Let's first take a look under the hood of each car. In the Camry, it gets a 2.5-liter inline-4 engine with dual VVT-i in the G to V models. For those variants, it puts out 178 PS and 231 Nm of torque. The most powerful engine available in the Camry is a 3.5-liter V6 engine that pumps out 227 PS of power and 346 Nm of torque. Moving to the Volkswagen Passat, there's only one engine option, but it's quite a potent one. Turbocharged, four-cylinder, 2.0-liter engine with 220 PS of power and 350 newton meters of torque. These sedans have different transmissions. Toyota takes the traditional route by using a six-speed automatic transmission with manual mode. Over to the Volkswagen, the Passat utilizes a six-speed dual-clutch transmission, also with manual mode. The two also differ in how they ride. The Volkswagen Passat rides on struts and three-point wishbone with stabilizers at the front, which is then complemented by a four-link suspension with stabilizers at the rear. It also benefits from adaptive chassis control or DCC with driving profile selection. In the Camry, it gets McPherson struts in front comes with a dual link strut system for the rear. After looking at what makes these cars ride and drive, let's take a look inside. In the Passat, you are greeted by a design that is smooth and uncluttered with slim air conditioning vents with a brushed aluminum trim that runs below it. Soft touch materials on leather dominate the cabin with power seats for both driver and front passenger. Keeping rear passengers cool are air conditioning vents mounted on the B pillar and both front and rear occupants benefit from 12 volt sockets. As for its instrument cluster, it gets a digital speedometer, tachometer, odometer, and trimeter, while in the middle, the multi-function display or MFD with active info display. Toyota Camry is also slanted towards luxury with wood trim, leather, and padded surfaces throughout the interior. While the entry-level Camry gets fabric seats, the rest of the lineup get leather as standard. E2 gets air conditioning for the rear passengers and in a 2.5V and V6 models, power reclining rear seats. Also adding the upmarket feel of the Camry is a power rear windshield sunshade rear window sunshades and triple zone automatic climate control for 2.5 V and V6 models. Flipping down the armrest in higher trim lines reveals controls for the sunshade, audio, air conditioning, and rear seats. Moving back to the driver's side, the instrument cluster has two large tiles and a multi-information display on the center. In this segment, one expects high-end infotainment system and both do not disappoint. Volkswagen calls their unit Discover Pro and features an 8-inch color touchscreen. It shows vehicle status as well as functions for radio, CD, MP3, USB, aux in, SD slot, Bluetooth, voice control, G-Force meter, even a lap timer. It also has a mobile phone interface with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto compatibility. Also standard is a navigation system sound is then channeled through eight speakers. In the Toyota Camry, entry to mid-level models get a tuned-in auto system with CD, MP3, WMA, auxiliary input, and USB. The higher trim levels get a touch screen that includes all of the tuned-in head unit's functions plus Bluetooth. Sound is scored through six speakers across the range from entry level to top of the line. From the interior, let's now move to the exterior and both represent their respective company's design languages. The Toyota Camry was given a refresh over a year ago and has given it a bolder look. At the front are sharp headlights, complemented by a slim grille with chrome accents. The corners of the bumper have been redefined to give the sedan more chiseled edges. 
a large air intake dominates the center, which also houses the fog lights. At the rear, the tail lights have been given a slight update as the rest of the body carries over unchanged. Moving to the Volkswagen Passat, horizontal lines define the front, side, and rear of the car. The slim headlights seam into the grille, which boldly displays the Volkswagen badge. The hood consists of a clamshell-like design with two defined character lines flanking the side. Trapezoidal fog lights are seen at the corners of the front bumper, and the front apron sees a slim air intake. Onto its side, it boasts a slick profile with a glass panoramic roof being an option. At the rear is an adaptation of the Golf's tail lights. For the safety check, both cars are comprehensively equipped with both active and passive systems, aside from the usual anti-lock brakes. In the Passat, there are eight airbags consisting of dual front airbags, quadruple side airbags, and dual curtain airbags. The Passat also packs electronic stabilization program, an anti-slip regulator, electronic differential lock, engine drag torque control, and trailer stabilization. There are parking sensors for both the front and rear, plus a rear backup camera. In the Toyota Camry, it gets ABS with EBD, whiplash mitigating seats, parking sensors, front airbags and side airbags standard across the range. Up for the 2.5V and 3.5V6 and it adds curtain airbags, knee airbags for the driver, traction control and stability control. While mid-size sedans are no longer the volume sellers they were in the 90s, it hasn't stopped manufacturers from using these cars as a platform for showing their latest technical innovations. Couple that with luxurious touches and acres of space, and you have a car fit for an executive. The Toyota Camry and a Volkswagen Passat might come from different parts of the world, but both tick the right boxes when it comes to building the ideal mid-size sedan. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your automobile electronic magazine, we have the 2017 Audi Q7 piloted driving concept. Watch this. Audi announces a partnership with NVIDIA to use artificial intelligence in delivering highly automated vehicles starting in 2020. Deep learning technology will enable skilled handling of real-world complexities, delivering safer automated vehicles earlier. Audi and NVIDIA are longtime partners, merging the best of automotive engineering and visual computing technologies on Audi innovations such as Audi MMI navigation and the Audi Virtual Cockpit. Later this year, Audi will introduce the world's first Level 3 automated vehicle equipped with the first-generation Central Driver Assistance Controller, or ZFAS, that integrates NVIDIA computing hardware and software. To showcase their progress, Audi and NVIDIA developed an Audi Q7 piloted driving concept vehicle which uses neural networks and end-to-end -end deep learning on NVIDIA's artificial intelligence platform to navigate a complex course. The vehicle learns from both the road and the driver in every mile it travels and can handle unpredictable situations like roadblocks, construction, and changes in weather. This demonstration illustrates the power of end-to-end -end deep learning and how it will be one of many neural networks running simultaneously inside of an artificial intelligence car. The vehicle relies on its trained AI neural networks to recognize and understand its environment, then drives safely around the track without any computer programming. 
With no driver behind the wheel, it performs several laps in a closed course, where the configuration of the track will be modified in the middle of the demonstration. The course features a variety of road surfaces, including areas with and without lane markings, dirt and grass, as well as a simulated construction zone with cones and dynamic detour indicators. Audi will expand testing of highly automated, artificial intelligence-equipped vehicles on public roads in California and select states next year. As it has throughout its research of automated vehicle opportunities, Audi will maintain a spirit of transparency with state and federal regulators in the United States as it conducts its artificial intelligence testing and eventual vehicle system deployment to the public. In parallel to delivering artificial intelligence solutions for complex urban driving, Audi brings to market this year the world's first vehicle to meet the standards of Level 3 automation as defined by SAE International. The next-generation Audi A8 will feature Traffic Jam Pilot, which uses a Central Driver Assistance Controller or ZFAS with NVIDIA hardware and software. This system will give drivers the option to turn over steering, throttle, and braking functionality to the vehicle at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour when certain conditions are met, aiding Audi drivers during their often stressful freeway commutes. We'll have more news about the automobile and its industry after we pause for another short break. I shall be right back. Vote for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win Autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all-new Honda Mobilio. with a very timely message from the general manager for automobile of Suzuki Philippines, Mr. Shuzo Hoshikura. It's gift giving time of the year once again. If you are planning on giving your family or yourself gift of a lifetime, make sure to test drive it before you buy it. Come to the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival at Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. Suzuki Philippines will have Celerio, Swift, Jimny, Seat, Ertiga, 
and a surprise new model for you. Please watch out for this. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! Focus Multi Grand Pre Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16th to 19th. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Welcome back to AutoFocus, the show for the automobile enthusiast and back to more auto industry developments. Pilipinas Stash, the official distributors of Tata vehicles in the Philippines, recently announced their sales growth of 13% on the first half of this year compared to the same period of 2016. According to Pilipinas Stash, this growth is attributed to the increasing sales of A's and Super A's. The Tata product lineup that we have are the small commercial vehicle to the biggest commercial vehicle. Definitely the small ones are the ones selling a big volume for us, especially the A's and the Super A's. Although we have several variants of both models, but almost all variants are selling quite well. Philippine Stash is confident that they would maintain their current year-to-date growth, especially with a new Tata model that's about to be launched. Yes, we're planning to introduce a Euro 4 models any time of the year uh, and this will include the passenger cars and the commercial vehicles as well. And finally, BYD Philippines recently celebrated their fourth anniversary in the local auto industry. The event was held at BYD's dealership in Show Boulevard and was attended by select members of the motoring media and friends of BYD. In our niche market who, who uh, purchased BYD cars, I'm very happy to say that all of them are happy, satisfied. And in fact, they are so happy that this year, a lot of S6 owners have already purchased their S7 units. So I'm very happy. That's a good sign. It's a very good sign. So uh, aside from that, we have won so many accolades in racing to prove our cars that are really roadworthy, very safe, very reliable. And this is our commitment uh, to our customers. In line with their fourth anniversary, BYD launched another model that is seen to furthermore meet BYD's customers' needs and expectations. We noticed that um, aside from the F0, which is our subcompact, the Filipinos really are hungry for SUVs. So that's why we introduced today the BYD S1, which is our entry into the subcompact SUV market. BYD continued to bring to the Philippine shores their reliable vehicles like FO, F3, L3, G3, F5 Zuri, and S6. I hope you can drop by our BYD showroom at 312 uh, Shaw Boulevard. Um, come see the new BYD S1, your bay. We have a lot more about the automobile coming up. In the meantime, here's our what and where to have them for our car enthusiast on Automart. Here now is Automart with products and services geared toward the automobile enthusiasts. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. 
or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains, for Moto's opening year promo of greatly reduced prices. Out and out, car aficionados do not patronize just any custom shop for upgrades. Speed Lab has been in the business of setting up and sprucing cars for so long that it has become an institution in the local motoring scene. Custom-built headers, racing filters, Unichip programming and installation, dyno testing are just some of their specialties, which also include preventive maintenance solutions, overhauls, fleet maintenance, and even fuel economy testing. For your next car upgrade, check out Speed Lab located at number 11, Pagataan Street, Banaue, Quezon City. Those who have similar notable products and services that appeal to auto enthusiasts, you can have them showcased on the Autofocus Automark. For placement, just call STV at 633-4422. Automark, products and services for the automobile enthusiasts. For your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your automobile of the year in this year's autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. When you sweat to be sweet and you clean our seat, it's love. it's love. When you try to look cool, but you look like a fool, Monday morning, Monday morning, it's love. Monday morning, Monday morning. It's love. It's love. Show your love with the new features of the all new Innova. Love the journey. Great control with a new Isuzu D Max. You're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough the hmm? to be right back. Isuzu D Max, tough enough for anything. TV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Vice President of Filipinas Taj Auto Group Inc., Mr. Art Balmadrid. Thinking of buying a car this Christmas? Make sure to test drive it before you buy it. The pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive festival, a one-stop shop for all brand new car models available in the country is happening on November 16 to 19 at the Mall of Asia where Filipino Studs, the exclusive distributor of Tata Motors vehicles, shall have the latest car models and commercial vehicles that will be made available for test drive. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas everyone! Focus multi brand pre Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Autofocus, the electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. And up next is this edition's special feature. Usually, the celebrant is the one who receives presents on their birthday 
or on any other special occasion. But for Isuzu Philippines Corporation, it's the other way around, as it has unveiled a number of surprises for their customers in line with their 20th anniversary. Isuzu Philippines Corporation or IPC recently celebrated their 20 strong years in the local automotive industry in an event held at Hall A World Trade Center in Pasay City. The celebration was attended by IPC's top executives and personalities from the transportation sector in the country, along with select members of the motoring media. This event is a celebration of two major milestones for Isuzu Philippine Corporation. First is the 20th anniversary of IPC, which we like to celebrate together with our shareholders, dealers, customers, and government agency and local media people. These people among us our avid supporters since our establishment in 1997. Second is the introduction of our Europe model lineup, which is in line with our global commitment to promote a cleaner environment by providing cleaner engines. Uh, celebration because what we started in 1997 we were only selling 3,000 units per year now we, we will be selling 30,000 this year 2017 and by this month September we probably have sold our 250,000 units so through the years we have introduced so many new models we started with the Highlander we now have the Crosswind we started with the Trooper we now have the Mu X we started with the Puego we now have the Dimas and of course our bread and butter the big trust that we have at the back. We started with some of the initial models, but now we're introducing Europol models. The major highlight of the celebration was the unveiling of IPC's latest offering, the Blue Power Technology, an eco-friendly diesel engine designed to promote green technology. According to IPC, the blue technology on Isuzu engines, which will be present in all vehicles in the Isuzu lineup, provides maximum engine output, cleaner emissions, superb fuel economy, as well as engine durability. Blue engine means that uh, Isuzu has invested uh, extensively on developing engines that has better technology, gives higher power and higher torque, better fuel efficiency, and the, the market of Isuzu, uh, the most durable engine in the, in, in the market. Aside from this newest offering, IPC also announced the modification of the brand's full lineup. The lineup includes the MUX model, the D-Max, the all-new Isuzu N-Series and the C and E series. We will soon be introducing the 20 vehicles that we have launched today. We have the new D-Max equipped with the higher horsepower engine and Europor engine. We have the new and pace lifted Mu X with a new pace, bi-beam headlamp with DRL, new rear combination lamp, also with the 3.0 Euro 4 engine with 177 PS. We have the new N series, which has a new body, a wider, bigger, and bolder cabin. It's also now equipped with a Euro 4 engine. We have also increased the lineup for the N series. Same is also true with the F series. We are equipping them with the Euro 4 engine with higher power and higher torque, and adding a, a long wheelbase 32 footer FBM. And finally, we have the Euro 5 CNE series. That uh, where we have increased the power from 390 to 400 PS. So all this will be available in the market before year end. And next year, more new models will be coming. To all televiewers, we would like to invite you to 
please come and visit any of our dealership nationwide and know more about the advancement of our Blue Power beautiful model. We will be glad to assist you. Thank you very much. Congratulations once again to Isuzu Philippines Corporation for the 20 successful years of catering to the needs and interests of their Filipino customers. Surely there are more exciting things in store for the brand. We now come to the final page of our electronic magazine as we again put on the spotlight concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. This time, we train the spotlight on the BMW Concept 8 series. Let's take a look. The BMW Group is using this year's Concorso de Leganza Villa d'Este to unveil the BMW Concept 8 series, the essence of a modern-day BMW coupe wrapped up in an enthralling design study. The study car will serve as a taster of a forthcoming BMW model, the new BMW 8 Series Coupe, slated for launch in 2018 and part of the biggest model offensive in the company's history. The number one next strategy sees the BMW Group aiming to significantly increase sales and revenues in the luxury class, and the BMW 8 Series Coupe plays an important role here. The BMW Concept 8 series reveals much of what is to come. The exterior brings together the past and the future. The BMW Concept 8 series is immediately recognizable as a BMW, but also displays new design ideas and form building techniques. The silhouette of the BMW Concept 8 series spreads low and powerfully over the road. The interplay of a long bonnet and flowing roofline bring dynamic allure to the car's flanks, while the striking upward sweep of the concept's trailing edge provides a crisp conclusion to the car's rearward flow and adds another sporting flourish. The interior, an emotionally rich blend of dynamics and luxury. The interior focuses on the essential, the task of driving. Once behind the wheel, the driver is wrapped in the tightly enclosed ambience typical of sports cars. The surfaces and lines all gravitate forwards and underscore the dynamic driving experience. The grouping of functions into control clusters, for example, in the center stack, the center console, and the doors, gives the interior a clear graphic structure. The BMW Concept 8 series is a preview of a model, which BMW is set to introduce in a similar form in the coming year. The BMW 8 Series Coupe will build on the company's successful tradition of luxurious sports cars and adds another exciting model, a genuine dream car, to its existing luxury class lineup. The BMW 8 Series Coupe will bring together razor-sharp dynamics and modern luxury and set new benchmarks in the luxury coupe segment. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa. <laughs>